Hello. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to change default list on Amazon. And when I say default list, I mean your default wish list. So if you want to change your default wish list on Amazon, here's what you should do. First, head over to your Amazon account and launch the web app. So here you go. If you do not have an account with Amazon, then you have to head over to your Google search bar and type Amazon.com. Once you do that, it's going to take you to the official website. Follow the on-screen prompts to create an account. Once you do that successfully and you sign in, it's going to take you to this fantastic homepage. Break on up, get a lot of options to have a great Amazon experience. Now let's hop into today's tag, which is pretty much simple. How to change the default list or let's say the default wish list on Amazon. So the first thing I'd like you to do is to go ahead and select the product that you want to add to your wish list. So I'm just going to select this Amazon tops. I think I like a cute, cute, cute women's three-piece tank tops with seamless workout exercise shirts, yoga, crop tops. It's a whole lot of titles. All right. So right here, you're going to see add to list. So, most times, okay, let's just select a color so that we can have the complete information right here. Okay, and um, oh, okay, so that doesn't really concern me. I don't know why it says, um, so, so here you go. So, if you check the right color, so you're going to see this is the product, so this is another session in the middle, and this is the last. So, right here, you're going to see add to list. So, if you select this add to list, you see it's going to be added to your default list, which is shopping list. So shopping list is my default list. So if you click on this view your list button, you're going to find that this shopping list is your default list. So it was just added directly. So I'm going to take you back again to that same process so that you can check if you're going to find other lists. So in this add to list, instead of clicking on this add to list, if you click on this drop down menu, you're going to see all your lists. So this is, these are all my lists, my shopping list and my wish list. So you can just click on this create list to create more lists. So if you want to make wish list your default list, so just go ahead and click on that wish list. Um, okay, add that, then click on view your list. So click on the view your list button. So here you go, this is wish list, and if you check on the, um, right here at the left corner, you're going to see shopping list, which is default list. If you want to change this to wish list, so click on wish list, so right here we're in wish list. Help, um, head over to the right corner of the screen, you're going to see more, and you're going to see manage list. So click on manage list, so just see, this is private, this wish list, so you can of course make it public if you want to, and then just scroll down, and once you scroll down, you're going to see Keep purchase items on the list, don't spoil my surprises, and then click on default list. So you can make this your default list and click save changes button. It's important for you to click on the save changes button. Now, once you click on the save changes button, you see right here at the left corner, you see that your shopping list has been uh, moved and now wish list is the default list. So once you want to add any product to your wish list and you add, just click on add to list, it's going to directly take them take the product to wish list which is now your default list now you can go over this video from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps and once you're done you'll be good to go i hope this video helped your search